What up, y'all? It is nighttime. We're out knocking out round number two for the day. And I wanted to just do a little bit of a video and uh, have you come run with me. We did seven miles earlier. The last mile was like a cool down mile, but we need to crank it up to high gear because we have the 50k coming up. And I got on the way to the vest just to add that extra little pow. Get the legs ready for a big endurance battle. Um, it's nothing I haven't done before because I've done a uh, 100,000 step challenge, which ended up with me at over 50 miles and then in September we did the Henson Lake 24 hour classic ultra and I did over 51 so I've done it before I kind of know what kind of a test I'm going to be putting myself through but I wanted to take you with me on a little bit of uh, of my training. Um, this is not going to be anything that I'm trying to do fast. It's all about just steady, <clears throat> even pace. Because when you're doing more endurance kind of stuff, you got to worry about staying fed so I'm going to be chomping through some carbs like crazy but also staying at a nice pace so I can keep my legs going for the whole day um, so we're doing that right now run number two nothing big just a couple of miles to finish off the day and as you see I do have on the weighted vest so we got a park down the street has a track around it and I go there when I need to really crank out some good miles at a steady pace um, it's cold it's like 35 degrees or so right now um, I don't dress kind of learned not to dress overly excessive even though it's cold because once you're 10 minutes into your run you want to start taking layers off because you start sweating up a storm so we start off cold and light, but once we're 10 minutes in, you warm up. So, uh, I just got on some sweats, my hoodie, a compression shirt underneath because I have uh, loose skin. Anyone that's been following my journey knows that um, in total I lost 256 pounds. I got down to 153 at my lightest. Bounced back some. Right now I hover between 180 and 185 basically still watching my body recompose um, and just getting progress um, I'm wearing the uh, Saucony Triumph 19 on my feet because they are super comfortable 
and when you're just trying to do an easier run and pop out some miles not really worry about speed these are perfect they're not as light as uh, my Speed 2 or the uh, Pro 3, but I'm not looking for speed. I'm looking for something that's just going to let me keep going without my feet dying and my legs dying. So we're wearing those because they are really soft nice energy return Whew. and the other thing I've been working on is my pace that's partly why I'm doing the video because I want to be able to maintain a decent pace but in order to do that you want to be able to talk at the same time while running. If you start running out of breath, you're going too fast. So a good way to judge your speed for an endurance run like this is to be able to have a conversation while you're running. So right now I'm at, what, let me take a look, right about a 10 minute mile, which is crazy, never thought I'd be at the spot where I'm talking about like, hey, I'm doing a 10 minute mile while talking. Um, some of my fastest have been around the 7.30 minute mile mark. I haven't really tried to beat that um, recently, that pace, because I've been focusing on longevity, getting my strength up, all that good stuff. So I figured why not pull out the camera and actually record one of my runs and talk at the same time just so you can see physically what I'm doing and I'm not just talking about it I'm out there doing it because you can sit here and say you're doing this that and the other thing but are you really doing it well, why not prove it, right? And that's what I want to do with this. Prove it while getting improvement. <laughs> so, let's knock this run out. Looks like this video is getting closer and closer to 10 minutes. So we'll wrap it up there. And I'll catch y'all later. More videos to come. If you like the content, sorry for the huffing and puffing, but you see why. Um, but if you like the content, hit the like, follow for more, check out the Instagram at one man one year one fifty, and stay tuned because. It's been uphill for the past two and a half years, and we ain't stopping. Who knows?